Hey guys and welcome to a new video and as you know the gesture navigation system is the most major UI overhaul in Android 10. Android 10 has been recently been coming out for Nokia 6.1 plus and in this video today I'll show you how to enable the new gesture navigation system in your Nokia 6.1 plus and how to use it effectively in your day to day activities. So to begin with the first thing that you will do is go into settings and then go down and scroll into system. In the system you can just go over into gestures and then you can go over to system navigation. In the system navigation you have three options the gesture navigation, two button navigation and the three button navigation. So the three button navigation is the default and the oldest style where you have three buttons the home button, the back button and also the recents button. The two button navigation was launched with Android Pie where you get a back button and you get a home button. Or the new or the most latest one that is launched with Android 10 which is a full blown gesture navigation system is where you get a, only a small bar just like in iOS with no back button. So you can just go into settings and select the back sensitivity which you can go from low to the extreme high so we'll just keep it at default as it is right now and so to enable the gesture after you have enabled the gesture navigation system what you can do to go back to the previous page since you no longer have the back button anymore is you can swipe from the left of the screen where you can get a gesture or a haptic feedback and you get a little arrow button over there and you can also do the same from the right of the screen and both does the same things so you can just again go in and swipe from the left of the screen to go back to go to the back to the home page you can just swipe up from the bottom and you'll just reach out to the home screen if you just swipe up and hold in the middle you'll just get into the app drawer so sorry you just will just get into the app switcher so you can just scroll through these apps normally or you can also scroll through the bottom navigation bar if you are on the home screen if you scroll up from the top you'll get into the navigation or the app drawer another thing that is still present in the gesture navigation system is that if you swipe up from the bottom corner you get into google assistant now this acts on both corners so it acts on the left corner and it also acts on the right corner to go access the google assistant so to review you can just go over into settings and you can just get into system you can just go into gestures and go on system navigation and click on the gesture navigation you can swipe from the left of the screen and you also you can swipe from the right of the screen to go back on any screen you can just swipe up from the bottom to go to the home page or you can just swipe up and hold to access the recent app store you can swipe up from any of the left corners our bottom left corners to access the Google Assistant and this works through any of the apps so it acts on the home screen and it also acts inside any of the apps that you are using so that's pretty much it on what you can do with gesture navigation and how you can access it enable it and how you can use it on your day to day it's pretty much like iOS but you do get a small stuff here and there where it gets awkward with the Android UI especially with Google Maps as you can see so there's a little hamburger menu so before the Android 10 or the Android 10 gesture navigation system, you could just swipe from the left to access the hamburger menu. But if you hit on the back arrow now, or if you swipe from the left, you just go back to the home page. So what you can you have to do to access gesture Nav or to out access the hamburger menu, you just have to manually click on the hamburger menu to open up the hamburger menu. So the, there are a few quirks out here and there. So the apps might be updated in the future to work around that. But for now, you all you have is this. So thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. If you want to see what's new with the Android 10 update on the Nokia 6.1 Plus, I have launched a full video on that. So click on the link on the top left or the top right corner of this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.